Hi, second graders. This is Miss England. Today, I'm going to teach a social studies lesson all about physical and political maps that goes along with Studies Weekly, week five. Let's read our lesson objective together. Ready? Begin. I can explain the difference between physical and political maps. Our essential question to think about is what is the difference between physical and political maps? We've talked about maps a little bit already this year. So what do maps show? Maps can provide different types of information. Can you think of something that a map shows us? Pause this video and tell someone at home. Some information that maps can provide are names of places, land features, such as mountains, rivers, lakes, Maps can show boundaries between states or boundaries between countries, and maps can also show elevation, how high or low a place is. Today, we will learn about two different types of maps, physical and political. A political map shows boundaries between states, counties, and countries. This is a political map of the United States you can see that the boundaries between each of the states are shown. We can also see the boundary to the north between the United States and Canada and the boundary between the, to the south between the United States and Mexico. Political maps use colors to show states and countries. Borders are drawn between states and countries. On a political map, Major bodies of water are labeled. The Pacific Ocean is labeled, Atlantic Ocean, as well as the Gulf of Mexico. Major cities are labeled. The capital of each state is labeled on this map. We can see the capital of Tennessee, Nashville, on this map. Political maps also may show rivers as well as roads. The big takeaway about political maps is political maps show borders. The second type of map are physical maps. A physical map shows physical features like landforms, bodies of water, or resources. This is a physical map of the United States. On this map, I can see some of the mountain ranges. I can see rivers throughout the country. I can also see where there is flat land, such as plains or lower elevation. Some of the features of a physical map, they are mostly green, blue, and brown. They're showing land and water. The colors show the type of land. The green are the plains or lower elevation land. Browns are drier or higher elevation land, and the blue is water. Physical maps are textured to show mountains as well as flat land. The major borders are drawn and the major cities and landforms are labeled. So the big takeaway for physical maps is that they show land features. Let's practice with our Studies Weekly Week 5. Let's read the first page together. Ready? Begin. How close are you to a zoo? Here are two maps of Tennessee. There is a political map and a physical map. You can use them to find places to go in your favorite state. Let's go to a zoo. Can you help find one? How close are you to a zoo? There are zoos in Nashville, Memphis, Knoxville, and Chattanooga. Which of the zoo cities is closest to your town? Maybe you live in one of them. Make sure to look at the compass rows on the map so you know which direction to go. Which zoo should you visit? Which direction should you go to get there? Should you go north, south, east, or west? Let's find another place. Sam Houston lived in Tennessee long ago. He was once governor here. He was a teacher, pioneer, soldier and statesman. Since we're traveling, let's visit Sam Houston's schoolhouse. It is the oldest one-room schoolhouse in Tennessee. 
The schoolhouse is in Maryville. We need to use a political map to find Maryville. Let's look at the map. I see Maryville right here in the eastern part of Tennessee. So to get to Maryville from Nashville, we have to travel east. Let's use a physical map. To find the zoo and Sam Houston schoolhouse, we use a political map. Now it's time to use a physical map. Let's find the highest and lowest points in Tennessee. Clingman's Dome is the highest point. The lowest point is at the Mississippi River. Can you find these places on the physical map? I see Clingman's Dome right here. I also see the Mississippi River at the western part of Tennessee. Map legends. Map legends are on political and physical map. Sometimes legends are called keys. Map legends tell you what the symbols on a map mean. These symbols are small pictures that represent something in the real world, such as a forest, dining, bike lane, or camping. On the back of your Studies Weekly and the page stapled to the front, you can extend your learning all about physical and political maps. Please send a picture of your work to your teachers and we would love to hear from you.